All right. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Let's see. Is that there? There? Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? That's gonna sort of work. Brilliant. So. I have a sleepy baby. It's about six in the morning. And I need to just not be absolutely wiped. And super tired. By the time seven comes around, because I need to actually get the older child up and in time to uh, get them to school. Oh, success again! I think I think when I played um, I think when I played uh, Dark Spire, that was developed by success. Cool. Uh, this is a Ninja Lady game. Ah! Butts, butts, butts. Uh. Excuse me. All right. Okay, baby, you're gonna be. Yeah. Okay. We'll use the baby to hold the phone. Yeah, it's fine. She's sleeping. She's she's poorly. She's poorly. I don't want to walk around too much. And these cats are being butts. I think they're hungry. So anyway, I'm just gonna try out some other DS games. I was tempted. I was really tempted by Monster Rancher. But, um... I'm going to wait to see if Deej does it. Because it feels a bit gauche to be doing something that someone else is doing. Especially when there's someone who's more charming than you, you know? Yeah. So, The Unemployed Ninja Returns. Azuna 2. There is a 1, but I thought 2 might... You know, there might just be a very significant difference in quality. So I thought, start with 2. It didn't sound like... When I picked them up, I was like, I say pick them up. Well, you can imagine how I picked them up. Uh, this is a 2008 DS game, so quite late, I want to say. Um, right. Humans, gods, and beasts of myth. Those who are both seen and unseen. Oh, voicing. All have come to coexist in mutual tolerance and harmony. And peace has finally settled over the land. So you're going to have to deal with my dubbing. The clashing of mighty warriors and the cries of battle have become tales of ages past. I think this is a roguelike. For those who ran through shadow, fought in shadow, lived in shadow, the time of the ninja is no more. Oh, okay, so we're talking like... Okay. But there is one girl who follows the old ways and continues to hone her skill as a ninja. She travels as though she rides the wind, today in the east, tomorrow in the west. Living her life free of cares and burdens, she is optimistic and beautiful, arrogant and selfish. She is... Isna? At the tea house. Right. Okay, I'm going to read after you talk, if that's okay. Thank you. Okay. What a great meal. Very tasty. Oh, man. So, Azuna, I think this is very clearly meant to be, um, I think we're talking maybe Meiji Restoration. It's hard to tell, honestly, like, in terms of, like, character designs and so on. Like, basically anything from the tiara up to, like, just before World War Two, is always depicted basically the same in um, games and anime and so on. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's not as, um, in terms of pop culture renditions, fashions don't change as much as they tend to for Europe, if that makes sense. Right. What a great meal. Very tasty. Oh, man. Says Izuna, who is a pink-haired, blue-eyed ninja in red clothing with a yellow scarf and what appear to be goggles on her head. But the sprite looks like it's a bow. Oh, as in, like, the, the sprite that's down here on the bottom screen, not the, not the, not the portrait on the top. Mitsumoto says... Oh, sweet dumplings, sweet red bean soup, rice balls, inari sushi and some noodles. 
How did all that fit in your stomach? What can I say? Walking makes me really hungry. And you know what? There's still room for dessert. Sheena, who looks like she's the serious ninja. Because she looks all serious. And she's got a serious haircut. And she wears blue, so she's serious. Just control yourself soon. Uh, if you eat too much, your body will pay for it later. Ganon, who is token old person. Oh, let us eat Shino. She's still young, and eating does her young body good. Since this is a uh, Japanese property, I just assume that that old man with the bald hair and the beard is, um... Is probably like 30. You know? Haha, <laughs> I joke about anime ages. Oh, thanks for coming in. Here's your bill. I'll collect it whenever you're ready. As in, as dot dot dot. Why is it so expensive? Well, boss, because you eat lots. I still can't believe that bill. Talk about inflation. Good thing we had enough cash on us, eh? That says, yeah, but Izuna, we spent everything we had on your bottom stomach. What are we going to do? We're so poor. We're... Ah, don't have a heart attack. I'll go make us some money right now. Be right back. She says, Izuna, wait. Everyone's talking like this. She know you need a different voice in case you turn up on a more regular basis. Uh, she know, she know, she know, she know, she know, she know, she know. Is who know wait? Where are you going alone? Yep, don't worry. I'll be back before you can real you even realize I'm gone. Genan, the old man. Genan, old man, says, um, Izuna is truly maturing, isn't she? Mitsumoto says, I bet she doesn't want to eat in the hay, sleep in the hay again. She, she no, says, I can't sit here idly while she does. Whatever she's doing, Grand Boss, I'm going after her. And Genan says, Okay, both of you be careful. Would you like to play the tutorial? Sure, bring it on. Because I don't know how this plays. Okay. Yep, this is 100% a mystery dungeon. All the way down to how the tiles are laid out in the map looks. Okay. So, we have a little sprite of Azuna and Shino in the bottom and we got portraits and data of things at the top and it is whoa she knows sis don't scare me like that you crept up on me like you were a ninja or something I'm in oh all right and she's I am a ninja Azuna you are too right oh yeah you can be such an airhead sometimes you do remember how to fight don't you of course, the A button's to attack, the X button's the menu, and the directional pad moves me. And what else? Um, holding the B button makes me dash while moving, and holding the Y button changes my direction. So, like, every... Every single mystery dungeon game. Okay, cool beans. Alright, let's go over some other basics while we, while we move along. Okay! So yeah, of course, cool. so we move like that. Grasslands, caves, towers, castles, anything we traverse is considered a dungeon. And dungeons change form every time you enter. You'll want to keep a close eye on the map and see the top screen so you don't get lost. Yeah, I noticed that the map automatically fills out all the places I've gone. Finding a staircase on a floor allows you to progress further into the dungeon. 
when you step onto the staircase you give a stage oh my god this is oh I really shouldn't have gone for the tutorial because I know all this I've played so many games that work exactly like this okay but question why are there stairs on the grass <sighs> don't get smart Izuna even if you bump into a foe you don't have to panic if you don't move they won't either what do you mean? Everything in the dungeon reacts according to you. So if you do nothing, time is stuck. If you perform one action, then all the enemies get one action too. In other words, anything I do... Oh, in other words, anything I do is considered an action. Yes, moving, using items, changing equipment, all of that is considered one action. But if you open the menu or change direction in place, it won't be considered an action. Ooh, oh, big gun. Ah, that's a relief. So, yeah. Okay. And we do that. Maramon attacks. It's a little round, bouncy, cute animal thing. I just punched it to death. Hey, she knows it's, it's hard to attack diagonally. Do you have any suggestions? I always end up attacking horizontally or vertically instead. When you want to move along a diagonal, it's a good idea to hold the R button. Holding it down makes it so you can only move diagonally. If you press the Y button with an enemy next to you, you'll automatically turn to face them. Whoa, these buttons do a lot. I better test them out. Oh, cool. There's an auto face. That's really snazzy. I wish loads of games I play normally would do that. Um, yeah, right. Um, yeah, on Mystery Dungeons, uh, my personal recommendations are if you have access to PlayStation 3, Play the Guided Fate Paradox. That's really good. It's uh, basically a Nippon Itchy game, but as a mystery dungeon. Uh, if you've got access to a 3DS, the. Um, well, obviously, there's all the Pokemon ones. And I get that people like the Pokemon ones, but personally, I think the. Um, actually, probably the best ones. Um, a mate of mine didn't like it, but that's because he likes to fill out the map, but. There's an Etrian Odyssey one, and it's really good. But you have to be prepared for a Mystery Dungeon game. Um, as opposed to Etrian Odyssey's normal deal with the touch screen and stuff. But yeah, Etrian Odyssey Mystery Dungeon, that's really good. That's really, really good. Hmm. This one seems alright. It's, I mean, it does the thing. Uh, I thought uh, I just punched a rabbit to death. Oh, I obtained Light of Healing. What's that do? Right, I don't need that much healing yet. Hey, she knows this. I just picked this up. What is it? That's a Light of Healing. It'll be used to restore your HP. To use it, press the X button and open up the menu and use the Items command. Look through the list of your items and press the A button when you highlight the one you want. The item descriptions are also placed displayed there for items you've never encountered before. But if I use it, then it's gone, right? Shouldn't I hold on to it? Azuna, what's the point of items if you're not going to use them? You only hold up to 20. What? 20? Does that mean I can't pick up everything, anything else if my inventory's full? Yes. And that's why you should use the items when you need to. Don't be too conservative. Okay, but it's going to get really annoying if I have to keep scrolling the menu to the menu just to use items. That's why you can press the L button to open up the shortcut menu. You can use your projectile weapons by holding the L button and pressing other buttons. These include caltrops, bombs, shurikens, and kunai. Okay, cool, so there's a shortcut for the items I use a lot. 
That's a plus. Okay, I see. That's kind of snazzy. That's a good little... Like, quality of life dealy for her. Uh, there we go. Oh, we pick up uh, Lightness of Pochi. Picked up a photo off the floor. Oh yes, you can recover your HP by holding down the L and R buttons and to skip your turn. Wow, that's convenient. I don't know if you've realised, but if you recover your HP, you recover your HP as you roam around dungeons. Holding down the L and R button is like walking in place. Oh, I said that. Oh well, yes, but don't overuse it. You'll recover HP faster, but your SP will deplete faster too. I'll talk about SP later. Hey, she knows this. If you reach zero HP in a dungeon, what happens? That's called getting defeated, and it means game over. Oh no! Don't worry, you don't die or anything. You'll end up back in the last town you entered. <sighs> don't scare me like that. You get to keep your levers, but you still lose all your money and items. Oh, so I'll have nothing! Zero! Nada! That's terrible! What kind of sadistic person do they think? Just be glad your level doesn't get reset. Okay, so I've got shurikens. And there's a... And there's a... Uh, yeah, I take the stairs down, which are in the grass, and it is quite weird. But at least the stairs are made of grass, I guess. Oh, right. Okay, so it looks like there's a, another ninja. So I'm going to actually use my shuriken. Watch out! Oh! Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's cool. So we got shuriken, we can just chuck them. And I'm going to punch Ah, Hikari, no! Okay, right, this person actually hits hard. Okay. Um, oh, the photograph is, like, for restoring SP. Brilliant. Right, let's use the healing. Yep, we did the healing. And now we do the punchies. Punch. Yeah. Hey, she knows this. I was thinking, can enemies use items too? No, only we can use items. But that doesn't mean you should let your guard down. Enemies have different abilities. They might have ranged attacks. Or they might just charge at you. Hey, that's not fair. All enemies have one special attack. So learn what they do and be careful. Oh, and Azuna, be wary of froggins. But why? I can beat a froggin with my eyes closed. Yeah, but when you defeat one, it leaves an egg which will hatch a tadden. Those are quite powerful. That's not cool. If I don't attack the egg, it won't hatch, right? Yeah, see, you always have to be fight according to the enemies you're up against. Hey, Sheena, says you said you were going to talk to about SP. All it uh, all ever does is drop. Do I get defeated if it reaches zero too? Don't worry, it's not a game over. If SP reaches zero... Oh, it's not a game over if SP reaches zero, but there are other penalties. If you're low on SP, you can't use talismans, and you do less damage to your enemies. The only way to recover your SP is through items called lightnesses. So I have two bars I have to concentrate on. Which one's more important, though, HP or SP? Probably your HP, Azuna. You don't want to get a game over, do you? Rawr! I'm Azuna! Out of my way, beasts! Wait, Azuna, don't go around so recklessly. Oh, why not? That's fun! There are many dangerous traps inside the dungeons. It can be detrimental if you step on one. Oh, yeah, I hate those. All traps are invisible, so be extra careful. Luckily, your rows are at the same disadvantage. You're using big words. What do you mean? Enemies can fall into traps as well. You may be able to make your enemies the victims if you utilize them well. Except on a tub trap. Yeah. Cal drops. I think someone who was working on this ended up working on um, guided fate parasocks. 
because there's a lot of similar traps and daft things happening. Oh, I've obtained steel claws. Can I equip that? Yeah, I've got steel claws. Brilliant. -na 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 -na. I'm like Wolverine. Oh, you can even see it on her little sprite. She's quite cute. Right. Stab. Nope. Stab. God damn it. Right. I'm actually. Mm. Let's just let that all heal up. Healy, healy, healy. There we go. Izuna, I noticed that you picked up a steel claw earlier. Yeah, I'm holding on to it. Did you equip it? I, I think I did. Claws, arms, bows, blades. There are many different kinds of equipment. But there's no point in having them if you don't equip them. Oh, my cat's done a... Oh, I have to do the litter trays at some point. Someone's done a big piss. And aside from weapons, there are other items that are used by throwing or dropping them. You should try that out with a fire pill. You want me to eat it? No, Azunia, I want you to throw it at an enemy. Throwing an item at an enemy is like forcing the enemy to use it. Yeah. So if I think something's bad, I can throw it at someone, make them use it instead. Exactly. Learn what items do, take the best course of action. Oh, another odd item is the caltrops. They can be thrown or dropped underground for enemies to walk over and take damage. Why don't you try throwing stuff? Start with a fire pill. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Right, so you're there. Little chap. And we're going to go items. We're going to go to the fire pill. We're going to throw. Oh, shit. The gigantic explosion. Oh. Let's look at that photograph. Look at the lightness of Pochi. Oh, and she looks at the little photo on the ground. It makes her feel better. That's nice. We go down there. Proceed. Oh, God. Right. Obtained Wrecker. I don't know what Wrecker is. What's Wrecker? Use Area Effect Fire Attack. Stick, Increase Attack. Staff, Shoot Fireballs. Okay, whatever that means. Let's stab this girl. Stab in this girl. She is deadled. Got some shurikens. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Fighting the Maramon. Stab it in the face a few times. Move on. We oh, almost forgot. There's one more thing. What is it? If you turn off your system without saving, or it loses its power, all your money and items will disappear. What? Hey, you'll keep your levels, though. So shutting down with... So shutting down without saving? It's just like running out of HP. Yes. I better make sure to save when I need to then. Yes, you can use the inns available in. You can use the inns inside towns and villages to save too. No matter what the innkeeper says, it doesn't cost any money to save at an inn. Also, make sure to use the storerooms. Anything in there won't be lost if you're defeated. It looks like we solved our money problem at least for now. Good job. We should head back, though. Grand boss is waiting. Okay. After overcoming impossible odds, Azuna and her gang were finally able to reach their destination. It looks like they're at a small village. Don't tell me you started speaking in third person. So this is... Suire. Looks like a pretty lively town, don't you think? She knows this. Excitement level rising! Izuna, don't get too carried away. We have to be on our best behaviour. 
We're only here because the Chica invited us to her wedding, remember? Oh yeah, a Chica's wedding! Yeah, is it coming back to you now? Try to stay focused. You have an important role in the ceremony. Right, important roles. Tuna rolls, salmon rolls, sashimi, sushi. Am I drooling? Snap out of it, Azuna. I'm trying to talk to you. It's okay, Shino. Let her relax. Shire is now Shire is now all around the world for its fine seafood cuisine. I imagine there will be quite a feast at the ceremony. Even I had a hard time containing my excitement. Yeah. And the weddings are spots for cute single girls. It'll be like a garden of women. That's Mitsumoto talking. He's kind of talking in, working into the itcher. And all the bride's friends will be like roses and tulips for the who are mud ruling. Sheena. <sighs> ah, so much for maturity. You know. I still can't believe a chica is saying that a chica is settling down. A chica the butch, a chica the manly. She's going to be someone's wife. Azuna is pointing one way, and I assume it's a chica who's about to walk up behind her. Excuse me, I think someone over here has a big mouth. I wonder who it could be. Possibly me. She's not posh looking at all. She's um, uh, name for the kind of you know, it's a sort of anime tomboyish stereotype. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Ow! Ow! Stop stabbing me! Yes. I get it, you're hungry. I will feed you. I will also sort out that smell. I think Noodle has um, found something in front of the washing machine to piss on. I strongly suspect. Either that or one of you just had an enormous wheat in the litter trays. But that smells a bit too much. And yes, I hear you, bat flap ears. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, I think you should have to start going back into a granny flat if this keeps up. Anyway, is, can you not stab me? Stop it. Stop it, you get fed. Look at you, you're really fat. You don't need more food. Not food time yet. Not food time yet. Do you want to come under here? Do you want to be nice and warm? On. So as soon as says, wow, the chica, Sheena says, we're all very grateful that you thought to invite us to your wedding, Chica. No, no, I'm the one who should be thanking you. Sukichi and I would never, could never have made it this far if it weren't for the four of you. When you, whoa, time, time out. I gotta fill people in on the backstory. See, one year ago, I, Azuna, had to battle the six gods of Kama Kama Ka Kamiari. Kamari. Six gods of a village to restore world peace. Uh, I think you're leaving out the part about how you. Oh, whatever. If they care that much, they'll play Legend of the Unemployed Ninja. Wink! Who are you talking to, Izuna? Says Achika. I've lost her voice. Oh well. Uh, just disregard all that. So, Achika, who's the groom? Excuse me? Izuna, not only was his name on the invitation, but she just said it if you would have listened. The groom is Sakichi. Oh, right, I totally knew that. You didn't? How did the fucking old man talk? 
God, I've got no fucking memory for these voices. And they're not going to come up much. So I'm not really going to play this much more after today. Probably. Well, we'll see. It's all right. Seems okay. Uh, you didn't forget to write the speech you were supposed to give, did you, Azuna? Are you kidding? I've got it all written down right here. It's practically memorised. Well, you wrote it on a scroll. Oh, professional. Hey, I take my responsibility seriously. And I look good while I'm doing it, too. Okay, okay. I should know better than to compliment you. Hey, I've got an idea. Want to hear the speech now? I need to practice my delivery anyway. Here goes. Ahem. Dear friends, it grins me great joy to see you're all here today. Gina is thinking to herself, Well, she's off to a pretty good start. Even though Achika swore she'd never marry any old weakling that came along, and even though Achika is totally the manliest person in this entire town, she's ready to live life as a married woman, and I couldn't be happier for her as I am than I am now. Achika, say goodbye to all those weak, chumpy ex-boyfriends, burn up their love letters, and be the happiest married woman you can be until you die. Mitsumoto thinks to himself, I don't think you're supposed to talk about ex-boyfriends or death at a wedding, Azuna. The end. The end? Who says that? So, how was it? She's like, Achika, I'm so sorry. No need to apologise. There's more or less what I expected, says Achika. This will be the first wedding I've ever been to, and you could um, you, you know what I'm really excited about? The food! You're so honest, Izuna. That's what people like about her. Yeah, see, I'm likeable! Well, this little time before the ceremony, why? So why don't you guys go relax at the inn? We'll do that, thank you. Well, oh, the baby will wriggle a lot. Oh, Chi Chi, good cat. She's a good cat. She doesn't stab me out of nowhere. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Just get, get out da, 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 da. Don't know you're going to wake yourself up. Ah! Stop pummeling me with your face. No, oh, you're going to... Ah. Oh, baby, baby. How was I supposed to know that something wasn't right now? Um, right. We have to check out the town too. And all the fine women. Ah! Baby, stop wriggling. You're meant to be sleeping. Sleep, little baby. Sleep, little baby. Be my mic stand. Oh, balls. Ah! No! Oh, no! Oh. It's all gonna drop. Oi. Could you please? Right. Tick, you can do that on your own. Right, now we have free roam around the town. So, there are people. So, Thingy is telling me to get rest till the ceremony begins. There's signs, there's washing lines. The lady, Nami, says, Oh, oh you're an injury attack. You must be Azuna. In the flesh. That would make this hot little body Shino and this old timer Ginan, right? Correct. And you are? Yeah, no, that's not how you talk. Oh, well, anyway. I'm Nami. I've been friends of Achika's since we were kids. I heard you helped out a tough spot while back. Thanks, Azuna. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. Ah, uh, you're just like Achika said. You get excited very easily. Uh, Mitsumoto says, What my name is? If you thought you just heard a voice, you didn't. It was the wind, says Zuna. Uh, says Mitsumoto. Right, there's a hot man. 
There's a fishy man. A fishy man, Dan. Who says, Oh, you cheeky. If only I'd followed you to Kamiari Village, it could have... You look pretty depressed, man. Whoa, hey, you shouldn't sneak up on people who are lost in thought. And you can buy and sell from him. He's the general store. Cool. Can we buy anything cool? It's all sorts of things you can buy. Hey, Sakichi, what's up? How have you been? Congratulations on your engagement, Sakichi. Receive Temagushi with both hands and drink from the cup of Sansankudo. What's he babbling about? Some kind of magic spell? Actually, I believe he's practicing the rituals with the wedding in his mind. We shouldn't bother him right now. He probably needs to concentrate. Good idea. Uh, see what you're wedding, Sakichi. Okay, so that's him. There's a lady who's got a fucking odorous hell design, if you know what I mean. Minamo saying, Welcome to Saray. A chica told me all about you, Izuna. I'm Minamo, the village chief, and I'm old friend of a chica's. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, okay. Wedding ceremony grounds. Room Sakichi Bride Chica. Ume, welcome. Whoa, aren't you? Ume from Kamari Village. Kamari Village? I'm afraid I've never heard of it. But my name is Ume. What? So you're a really different person? Of course, I've been running the inn in this town for 46 years. Oh, I guess she isn't the same, Ume. Some say that there are up to three people with the same face in the world at any time. But the same name too? Oh well, I guess it must be a coincidence. Oh, 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 oh. Right, stay the night. Saving data. Continue playing. Good morning. Hope you had a wonderful day. Oh, I thought that's what she meant when, when she said get some rest. Okay, right, what's up here? Uh, okay. There's Sasuke, who says, I wonder if Minamo would ever marry me. Oh, if she's not interested. Hi there! Oh. I mean, hello and welcome! Okay. So you are the storage. Storage boy. Let's save a bunch of money. Cool. There's a cave. Uh, Nagasada says, I didn't think you'd, I'd see you for a long time. Well, I'm back. What's the matter? Afraid I'm going to bother you some more? Uh, same old as you, aren't you? So that's a tar talisman purifying place. Which I'm guessing is probably important. Uh, right, so people over here. Now you look familiar. Oh, Kakuji, right. Are you seen that? Long time no see. You're looking nice and healthy. Everyone talks the fucking same today. It's no good, is it? What are you doing here? Well, I single handedly dug out all the ore in Kaveri village. So now I'm off to look for a new mining spot to excavate. Wow, you're working pretty hard. I'm impressed. Ryuji says, Hey, Kikuchi. You must have done something right to be talking to such a beautiful lady. Listen to this guy. May I ask who you are? Oh, this is my work buddy, Ryuji. Nice to meet you. 
So, two miny chaps. Uh, there's a lady with brass bindings on and a giant hammer. Sayuri. Welcome. Hey, is your name Azuna? Yeah, how do you know? My dad told me you're one of his regular customers. I'm Sayuri. Katsutake's daughter. Remember him? He's the blacksmith of Kamari Village. Whoa, you don't look at all like Katsutake. Uh, scratch that, you're pretty lucky that there isn't much of a resemblance. Uh, be nice, Azuna. Siri says, it's okay, a lot of people say that. Anyway, nice to meet you. Mince Mouse says, nice to meet you too. Okay, repair your equipment. This prevents your weapons and armor from cracking and shattering into a million pieces. So let's quickly fix that steel claw. Okay. He chooses, oh well, if it isn't a Zuna Regina, it's been a while, hasn't it? Again, and two. Oh, oh, what fond memories. I feel so transparent. Kichu, we missed you. Are you here for a Chica's wedding too? Says Kichu. Sure are, says Azuna. I'm excited, says Kichu. Everyone's going to have such a lovely time tonight. I'm not going to put any effort in because I'm trying to find out where the fucking flag is that moves the shit on. I can't go into there. Where can I go? What can I do? Okay, I've been everywhere now. I've been in a big circle. Alright, let's talk to her again. No, she's just saying get some rest. Um, I think I've talked to everyone and done everything. Okay, I can't go up those stairs. That's people I've talked to, people I've talked to, told me not to go there. I actually am a little bit baffled as to what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, this is pretty good music at least, but no indicator as to what will move this shit onwards. Um, those are vegetable patch. Oh, moving too quick. Can't actually get out of the little thing. Okay. Alright, what's over here? Nothing. What's over here? Nothing. I can't leave town, can't do anything. Um uh, can't go in the cave, can't go to the forest. Don't actually know what I'm meant to do. What excellent signposting this game has done. The town is a big old circle. Um, there we go. Right, Sakichi so says a thing. I don't really give a shite, you know. Yeah, I don't know what I do. Already stayed the night. It's the big fire thing. There's that. I actually am baffled. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Can I get to... Don't actually... Ah! Christ. Right, let's see. Ah! Oh, baby, baby. You need to be a better mic stand. Oh, what? What? Why is Steam over Oh, Christ. Excuse me. Right, okay.
This is actually driving me a bit potty. What am I meant to do? Uh, yeah, that guy says some stuff. Alright, I've literally talked. I don't think there is a single person I haven't talked to. Oh, we go. Okay, so I talked to the last guy, man. Okay, so we're almost ready to begin the ceremony, everyone. Sweet, let's get going, Shane Osis. I'm coming, I'm coming, you don't have to pull. Everyone in Suire arrived at the ceremony grounds to celebrate the union of a Chica and Tsukiji. Chica makes such a beautiful bride, I'm a little jealous. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Azuna? <gasps> it's about her gasps. Nah, nothing like that. I still don't care if I end up married or not. As long as I never have to stop eating tasty things. That's what I'm going to do all night long. I'll eat until I explode. Sigh, says Mitsumoto. Yep, that's the Azuna I know. Azuna married? Sob. Oh, Azuna! Grand boss, what's the matter? I think we struck a nerve. Minamo says, whatever voice she had, uh, we'll just do one now. Okay, everyone, we're going to do the bouquet toss. So if you could all gather round. Oh, you didn't like that, baby. Okay. Bouquet toss. What the heck is that? And Nami says, oh. Okay, okay. Alright, no, nope. and we should probably we'll put that on snooze. And then we'll get up and. So I'll get through this fucking shack. I want to do more dungeoning. Ugh, we'll have to do it another time. Oh well. And anyway, Nami explains that it's a foreign thing. The bride throws a bunch of flowers at the end of a wedding. Kichu says, if you're the lucky one who catches it, you're destined to be married in the near future. And soon as like, wow, foreign stuff. Suire is such a cultured town. And then Kichu says, well, to tell you the truth, we only found about the custom this morning. There was a girl here who was fresh off the boat from a foreign land. She told us to do it. She said she was born here in Japan, but had moved abroad at an early age. She was an amazing seamstress too. She mended my wedding dress in the blink of an eye. Wait, that thing you're wearing is a wedding dress. Duh, you don't look any different than usual. I don't. This is very expensive material actually. It has embroidery on the lining in uh, and, and in other not so visible places. See? Whoa, that's nice, says Mitsumoto. Our strange visitor made some of the food for the wedding, too. She was so nice. I invited her to come tonight, but she said she was in a hurry. She's looking for someone, I guess. When I asked her what her name was, she said, I'm just a wandering maid. And she disappeared before we could even thank her. Whoa, she sounds so awesome. I want to meet her. I bet she's the antagonist of this game. Something says to me, uh, she's going to be the bedding a bit. But uh, what's a maid? Hey, Chica. This is Minamo, the village elder, whatever, chief. Yeah. Stop chatting and throw your bouquet already. I can't wait any longer. Oh, yes. Okay, here it goes. One, two, three. Whoosh. And then lots of ladies are having a big old fight over a bouquet in a way which is certainly very, very amusing. And as in saying, out oh, my way, that thing's mine. I'm going long. I'm coming. And then it's 
That's so scary! The men fled for their lives as the fierce battle for the bouquet ensued, and the winner was... Sheena, it me. Click. Oh, what was that noise? Ah, she knows this. You caught the bouquet. Oh, I, I know, but what do we do? Wait a second. Doesn't that mean you're going to be in the next to get married? She knows this. Don't leave me. Where? Oh, don't worry, Izuna. I'd never get married and leave you all alone. Uh, yeah, I know that. I love you, she knows this. Hmm. Thank you very much for coming to our wedding, everyone, says Sakichi. Jesus. Now it's time to eat, drink, and be merry. Enjoy yourselves. And the Zuna's back, and she's like, Woo! Raw fish! Grilled fish! Baked fish! Seared fish! Fish stew and... Tamagayaki! Where do I start? All this food looks wonderful, but Tamagoyaki... Fried egg seems a bit all out of place. Mm, this tastes familiar. Hey, <gasps> that's I made some tamagoyaki. That's pretty good, so you have to have some. How is it? Good? Haha, <laughs> I told you. Thanks for trying it. You're the best, sis. No, it can't be. Are you okay, she knows this? Yes, I'm fine. Sukichi, so, where can I find the chef who made this tamagoyaki? It's very good. Oh, sorry, she know, but the wandering maid made that dish. She said it was her specialty. I see. I didn't... I know you didn't catch her name, but this tastes... I had a sister who made something just like this once. She knows this. What's the matter? You look kind of pale. Hey, Izuna. You know what? Izuna, I love you, man. Says Achika, all drunkard. Ah, uh, Achika, you smell kind of funny and you're staggering. Are you okay? I'm hiccup. Fine. I'll prove to you. Listen. A, B, C, D, R, K, E, whatever. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Can you hear that beep? I can hear that beep. Oh my god, this is just... Ugh. Right. Right. So, yeah, so Chica's drunk. And, yep, and she gets drunk. Oh, I'm so, yep. The celebration continued long into the night. Later that evening. She knows left a little at the end to be like, I'm sorry, as you know, but we have to do this. Poof. She disappeared. Oh, no. <gasps> she knows this. Where'd she go? Uh, maybe, she's, maybe she's just on the can. So sleepy. Night, night. Oh, she's going to be so upset. The next day. <gasps> ah, nothing like 14 hours of sleep. Morning, Sheena says. Oh, baby's wriggling again. Sheena says, where are you? I want to get through this nonsense so I can then save and then I can just leave it for a bit. And then go and wake up the, the, the big child. But this is fucking long. Right, okay, don't think she's there. Sheena says... There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Right. Right, let's save. There we go. There we go. All saved. Brilliant. Okay, right. That's that. Right, I'll see you later. Let's try and get that child up. And, um, yeah.